Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. This webinar is hosted by PC Genome. Today's topic is about Nippy Nanoparticles LMP applications at gene editing. Let's start. In December 2023, FDA approved the first cell-based gene therapies, Casgemi and Lifgenia. These two therapies are for the treatment of sickle cell disease, a group of inherited red blood cell disorders. The success of these two therapies also signaled the advancement in the field of gene therapy. Both Casgemi and Lifgenia are extractable treatments. The first step of treatment is the extraction of stem cells from patient bone marrow. Next, these stem cells are modified ex vivo or outside the body using gene editing technologies. Then the modified stem cells will be transplanted back to patient. One of the key technology of the gene therapy is how to deliver the gene cargo to patient. And in the next slide, next have a look at the three main approaches. Currently, electroporation, viral vector, and lipid nanoparticles are the three main delivery platforms for gene editing. Electroporation uses an electropulse, creating temporary pores to introduce gene materials into cells. Electroporation has a wide compatibility in terms of cargo types and cargo sizes. For example, Casgemi is one of the application of the electroporation. However, electroporation approach also meets the limitation about the low cell viability, and it can only be applied to ex vivo treatment. Viral vector utilizes modified fibers to deliver gene material to cells. For example, Lifgenia, another gene therapy approved together with Casgemi, uses lantivival vector for ex vivo genetic modification. Viral vector has the advantage of high cell expression, but also has limitations. For example, the limited cargo size, risks of sustained expression, and other safety concerns. Lipid nanoparticles, LMPs, is also widely used as a non-viral vector in gene editing therapies. It has a couple of features. For example, transient expression, limit of target events, in vivo administration and scalability for large production. Especially after COVID-19 pandemic, there were over 710 million doses LMP-based mRNA vaccines have been administered globally, which strongly proved that the feasibility and safety of this novel gene delivery method. In the field of gene editing, NTLA201, is a LMP-assisted CRISPR-Cas9 therapy for transferritin aminoidosis. NTLA201 already entered phase 3 currently. Besides the success of ex vivo cell-based genome editing therapies like Casgemi and Lifgenia, more and more in vivo treatments have entered clinical trials. There is a large percentage of these studies are adopting LMP approaches. Next, we will use some cases here to demonstrate the feature, advantage, and challenge of gene editing using LMP approaches. The first example is NTLA201. NTLA201 is developed by Intelia Therapeutics. It is an in vivo single-dose treatment. It shows mild adverse events in the phase one clinical trial data. NTLA201 targeting knockout TTR gene using CRISPR Cas9 technology. It shows dose dependent reduction of TTR serum concentration from 52% to 87%. NTLA201 is the first CRISPR therapy to be administered in vivo to edit gene inside the human body. Currently, it already entered phase 3 clinical trial. NTLA2001 is the LMP-assisted CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing method. 
One of the key components of its lipid formulation is the unanswerable lipid LPO1. This novel lipid has a pKa value at 6.1, and its chemical structure is shown in the slide. The next example is CTX310. CTX310 is an in vivo gene therapy related to cardiovascular disease. Utilizing LMP approach, CTX310 delivers cast-like myRNA and guide RNA to patient liver to reduce the expression of ANGPTL3. Currently, CTX310 is at phase one clinical trial. CTX310 is developed by CRISPR Therapeutics. For a long time, CRISPR Therapeutics is considered a company focusing on ex vivo application. For example, the CASGMV, the first FDA approved CRISPR therapy, is developed by this company. But recently, this company expands its in vivo pipeline to four applications. CTX310 and CTX320 are two therapies targeting cardiovascular disease in phase one. There are another two programs are in preclinical stages. Besides systematically treatments, immobile gene editing can also be applied locally, like inherited retinal disease, IRDS. Edit 101 is the pioneer in this field. As early as 2019, editors initiated a phase one and two study for the treatment of blindness caused by retinal degenerated disorder. Edit 101 is based on CRISPR technology and use AAV5 to deliver gene editing material to eyes directly. Although the safety profile looks good, the efficacy of Edit 101 needs more investigations. In 2022, editors paused this clinical trial. In 2003, a research about LMP-assisted CRISPR genome editing in a mouse retina was published on Nature Communications. The research group demonstrated surface modification of LMPs can alter cellular tropism of mRNA, enable genome editing in the retina, which can be used to correct the genetic mutation that leads to blindness. Just for a quick summary, as the technology matures, genome editing is successfully changing from benchtop to bedside. Electroporation, viral vector, and lipid nanoparticles are three main gene delivery methods. However, in the aspects of treatment regimen, research causes and patient experience, in vivo delivery is much better than ex vivo delivery. To develop a successful lipid nanoparticle platform, microfluidic mixing is a robust and efficient tool to synthesize nucleic acid encapsulated LMPs. Precy Genome provides a whole solution of lipid nanoparticle preparation to cover different stages of pineal development, from early discovery, preclinical, all the way to the commercial production. FRESS and FRESS Plus can prepare ultra small batch size down to 100 microliter, which can save a lot of reagent and cost in the screening stage. FRESS Plus is a fully automatic workstation, allows high throughput screening, can prepare 96 LMP samples within one hour. FRESM and PRO are both reliable and flexible LMP synthesis systems to meet the needs of preclinical animal studies. PC Genome also provides CGMP gray model maps for commercial production. For more information, please visit us at www.precgenome.com. Thank you for your attention. I'll see you next time.